including including hello obophiles it's danny cruz here and today i'm going to be talking about a topic that is very important to both oboe teachers and students of the oboe who are going to be buying an instrument so it can be kind of difficult to buy an instrument because there's so many great makers out there and so you might be asking yourself Arr, what do I even look for in an oboe? Well, you're in luck, because today I have a brand new S50C VT oboe made by Howarth behind me that one of my students who is going to try out later to see if she wants to buy that oboe for herself. So in a minute, I'm going to play test this oboe and show you what I look for in an oboe in determining whether or not I think it would be a good oboe for me. There are a lot of factors that go into deciding whether or not an oboe is right for you, including how long do you plan on playing this oboe before needing to replace it, what level of player this oboe is for, and what context will the oboe player be using this oboe in? Are they going to be majoring an oboe at a university? Are they going to be playing this oboe through their high school career? Or are they going to be playing this oboe for a while on the side, maybe in some community groups or church or something like that? So I think it can actually be easier for more advanced oboe players to find an oboe that is right for them because they already know what they are looking for in the sound and can pick out the oboes that will provide for them what they need. Also, advanced oboe players are really only looking at the top of the line oboe model from each maker. And there are a lot of great makers out there. Actually, I'd like to know what oboes you guys are playing on and who your favorite oboe makers are. And if you have a favorite oboe, why don't you leave that in the comments below and we can start like a little discussion about it. For me, I love to play on my Luray, but I have played on other kinds of oboes and found oboes that I like just as well, as well as oboes that other people like a lot that I do not like at all. Okay, so we're about to check out this brand new Hallworth oboe. Before we do that, thank you guys so much for watching these videos and subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and scroll down and hit that subscribe button below, and maybe share this video with an oboe teacher or an oboe student who you know could use this information to help them purchase an oboe in the future. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Let's check out this oboe. Okay, so the first thing is to find a reed that works really well on the oboe that you're trying out. So maybe have two reeds that feel good on your own oboe at home and see which one feels better on the oboe that you're trying to see if you'd like to purchase. No. Alright, that feels pretty good. Okay, so just a little bit more about this instrument. Uh, this is like their lowest level of professional oboe. So this would be similar to the Luray, I think it's called C+, just the regular, nothing fancy Luray, or also the Fox 400, um, nothing fancy Fox, but still a professional oboe. So this oboe, so this oboe has all the keys that you would need to play anything in the oboe repertoire. It just doesn't have any fancy add-ons like selective wood or any special bore modifications that might make it more appropriate for where you play or what kind of music you're playing. So I'm gonna do three tests on the oboe to just kind of get you started, and I'll describe them as I go. The first test that I'm looking for is the low notes. I'm gonna play some low, long tones, and I just wanna see if I can kind of grow and maybe use my vibrato and see how I can push the tone of the oboe and still get that velvety sound. <laughs> So I feel pretty good about these tones. Next thing I'm gonna check is any problem notes. I'm specifically looking for the D flat, the E and F interval, and the B and C interval. So the pitch is actually pretty good. I feel like I can kind of raise it if I need to. 
The F and E are pretty stable. I would like to get the F a little bit more elevated if I could, um, but the E isn't ridiculously sharp, which happens on a lot of oboes. So any oboes that do that, you want to immediately rule out. Lastly, I'd like to play a tune on the oboe and just see if I can really play it and feel at home on the instrument. I'm not looking to play anything really technical because especially if you're changing oboe makers, the key work is going to be a little bit different and it might feel foreign under your hands. So any muscle memory, really fat, fast, flashy things you might want to play might not come out as well and you don't want that to hinder your decision on whether or not to purchase that oboe because you can get used to any key work. What you really need is an oboe that you can sing through and really manipulate the color of. So I actually kind of like how I can sing through the oboe. There's some notes that are really different than I'm used to as far as resistance, but I think the color overall is fairly well. I would definitely recommend this oboe in particular to someone who might be going to college and wants to play in the auxiliary groups or someone who is starting maybe in eighth grade to get them through their years of high school and maybe into their first couple years of college. I think it's a really solid oboe. I don't think that this is anyone's final oboe. I don't think that this oboe would carry you through um, a professional setting uh, as well as I'd like, but definitely to start out a career might be okay. Now, obviously you could play a lot more on the oboe to see whether or not you like it. And maybe you have your own oboe tests or little playthroughs that you like to do when deciding if the oboe is right for you. And if you have any of those, I'd love to hear about them. So leave them in the comments below and we can kind of discuss different kind of tools that you use to pick out your oboe. Now this oboe model is pretty interesting and if I were purchasing the oboe for myself I might want to try a couple of the same oboe model because every individual oboe is going to be a little bit different just because no two pieces of wood are exactly the same and no two conditions that they aged in are the same either. So this oboe feels pretty good but I'd want to compare it to another oboe of the same exact make and model to see which oboe I would really fall in love with because you really want to fall in love with the oboe that you're playing on. I hope this oboe and all oboes go out to a great home. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. And as always, keep playing, keep singing, and good luck.